everybody on YouTube and welcome. My name is Gabby if you've never been here before and today we're going to be taking a look at the top standard combos that have been enabled by cards printed in M20. Before we get any further, this video is brought to you by Wizards of the Coast, so thank you so much Wizards for sponsoring this video. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, so our first combo today is with Lotus Field. Lotus Field is a land that has hexproof. It enters the battlefield tapped, and when it enters the battlefield, you have to sacrifice two lands to it. It's a pretty big price to pay for a land, but it does tap for three mana of any one color. So what do you do to break this? You can combo it with a card called Blood Sun. Blood Sun was printed in Rivals of Ixalan. It's a three mana enchantment. When Blood Sun enters a battlefield, you draw a card, and then all lands lose all abilities except mana abilities. So Lotus Field and Blood Sun combo really well together because if you play a Lotus Field while Blood Sun is in play, it'll enter the battlefield untapped, so it can immediately tap for three. It will not have to sacrifice any lands, so you basically get a free land there. And you do lose Hexproof, which is like the one small downside there, but it's not really a big deal if you're just trying to ramp up quickly. If you combo all of these with something like Kiora Behemoth Beckoner, you actually get to untap that Lotus Field for just the cost of one loyalty counter off of Kiora. So in one turn, you're basically ramping six mana off of one land. You can play some pretty cool ramp decks with that, um, some big Finale of Devastation decks if that's something you're into. I've actually played this on stream and it is a very, very fun combo to play with. So our second combo today is enabled by Flood of Tears. Flood of Tears is a six mana sorcery that returns all non-land permanents to their owner's hands. If you return four or more non-token permanents you control this way, you may put a permanent card from your hand onto the battlefield. So what's the best thing you can put into play? Ba ba ba! It's Omniscience! I mean, there's a lot of things you can put into play, but this is the, <laughs> this is the combo. Omniscience is a 10 mana enchantment that lets you cast spells from your hand without paying their mana cost. It's one of the biggest spells in the game, also one of the most expensive ones. So once you have that in play, what can you do? Uh, you can use something like Tamiyo Collector of Tales to keep buying back the Flood of Tears so you can just keep infinite looping. You also got to make sure you have a couple of permanents to actually bring back to Flood of Tears. So good option is something like Guild Globe, for example. It's a two mana artifact that just draws you an extra card. So you play a bunch of Guild Globes, you draw a bunch of cards, then you can, you know, Flood of Tears, put a missions into play, you get all those Guild Globes back and you can draw through your whole deck. So once you have this combo assembled, there's a lot of ways you can kill your opponent. You can do something like put Othakaya in a play and pick it back up infinitely and use that to kill your opponents. You can even do something like Thousand Year Storm plus Burn Spells because you have infinite spells that you've cast, so you can definitely kill your opponents using that. Uh, you can try to generate infinite mana. There's basically the world is your oyster at that point. All right, our next combo is an infinite mana combo in Standard. First, you need Leyline of Abundance, which is the new green Leyline. It usually costs four mana, but you'd obviously have it in play at the beginning of the game because you're very lucky and whenever you tap a creature for mana you can add an additional green mana to your mana pool uh, so for eight mana you can also put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control and that's a that's a nice payoff for having infinite mana with this combo so what do you do once you have that next you need an incubation druid which is a two mana o2 it's just a mana dork but for five mana it can adapt for three and whenever you tap it for mana it's going to tap for three mana of that type instead. All right, so now you have an Incubation Druid that's adapted and a Leyland of Abundance. What else do you need? Now you need Gauntlets of Light, and this is the card that was printed in M20. It's a three mana enchantment. Uh, enchanted creature gets plus O plus two and assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power, but this is the part that matters. Enchanted creature has two and a white untapped as creature. So if you have Gauntlets of Light enchanted onto a Druid, who is currently adapted, you're paying three to untap it and then tapping it again. But because you have Leyline of Abundance in play, you're generating an additional green every time you go through the cycle. So at that point, you have infinite mana. You can, there's a lot of mana sinks and things you can do, but even just the Leyline of Abundance itself can be the kill because for eight mana, you can put a pulse and pulse on counter on it. And then you can use that Druid of the Cal to actually just attack and kill your opponent slash whatever other creatures you had in play at the time. Look, I'm going to level with you. A lot of these combos are really hard to assemble. But if you do manage to get there, it is infinite mana. There are a lot of mana sinks and standards. And even just Leyland of Abundance can actually kill your opponent. So I know it's a lot of work, but it is very cool if you actually pull it off. So our next combo is not actually janky at all. It's probably one of the best standard decks right now. It is created by the printing of Field of the Dead. So Field of the Dead is a land that comes into play tapped. It adds colorless to your mana pool. 
And if you control seven or more lands with different names, you create a 2-2 black zombie creature token. So how do you really break this? You pair it with a card that's been in standard for a long time and people have been unable to really get to function until now. Uh, that card is Scapeshift. So if you're familiar with modern, this is a modern staple. You can sacrifice any number of lands and then you search your library for up to that many land cards and put them into play tapped. And then you shuffle your library. So of note, it's any land, right? It doesn't really care which kind of lands you get. You can just get any of them. So as long as you have at least seven lands, you sack all of them. You get a Field of the Dead and six other differently named lands and they all see each other. So you make seven zombies immediately. If you have eight lands, you can actually get two Field of the Dead and six different lands, and then you'd make 16 zombies. For nine lands, you can make 27 zombies. For 10 lands, you just already won the game, so don't even worry about it. So this is an extremely powerful combo. It's one of the more powerful decks in standard right now. LSV recently won Grand Prix Denver with it. It's really, really fun when you actually get it to work. And you can even go the extra mile and pair it with Teferi Time Raveler, which lets you scape shift at the end of your opponent's turn if you have previously ticked it up because you can cast escape shift at instant speed and then on tap and immediately attack with a bunch of zombies and that is all of our bad combos i mean we had one good combo and a bunch of bad ones but i hope you enjoyed it these are some pretty cool combos that have been enabled by m20 this is always very exciting because whenever our new set comes out uh, you can take a look and see what other cool combos and maybe cool new decks spring up because of it um, there's only two more months ish to enjoy some of these current combos before standard rotates but whenever a new standard comes out maybe we'll make another video like this so thank you again for uh watching i if you are not subscribed to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button it always helps to stream out thanks again to wizards of the coast for sponsoring this video and i will see you all later if you like this video you can subscribe for more and if you want to come say hi to us on the live stream that's on twitch.tv gabby sparts i stream every weekday in the afternoons mountain times see you later